Hi folks, I'm Vito Oelmans and in this video I'm going to use these two telescopes to capture the same iconic objects in the autumn sky. Let's go! In this video I'm putting my little Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope up against my big trusty astrophotography rig. It's basically a showdown between an affordable smart telescope that fits in your backpack and the other one that costs about 10 times more. So you tell me, is all that gear really worth it? Links are in the description below. The first object I'm going after is the legendary Andromeda Galaxy. This galaxy is part of our local group along with our very own Milky Way. Its trillion stars shine so brightly that even from 2.5 million light years away, we can see this neighboring galaxy with the naked eye. I'll also point my telescope at the beautiful Pleiades star cluster, also known as the Seven Sisters or Messier number 45. These hot blue stars are surrounded by a soft reflection nebula created by starlight scattering of interstellar dust. And finally, I'll try to finish my project on capturing the fainter Triangulum Galaxy or Meshe number 33. This galaxy is in close proximity to Andromeda in the night sky, part of our local group and home to 40 billion stars. Today there are basically two ways to get into astrophotography. Either you build your own customized astrophotography rig and spend a lot of time and money doing so, or you can buy one of these smart affordable telescopes which will save you a ton of money and time. The Dwarf 3 is a 35mm aperture by 150mm focal length apochromatic telescope lens which gives you enough magnification to capture larger galaxies, nebulae and star clusters. On the side it has a neat little wide field lens that shows you a larger view of the sky and that makes it very easy to find objects like the moon and then switch over to the telephoto lens for actual imaging. The Dwarf 3 comes with a Sony IMX678 sensor which has 8 megapixels and is very sensitive in low light. That means it's great for photographing the night sky and pulling out detail in deep sky objects. The built-in mount is alt azimuth but can be put into EQ mode to automatically track and photograph objects in the sky for up to 2 minutes. Although I usually keep my exposures to 60 seconds when in EQ mode with the Dwarf 3. The Dwarf 3 can be controlled over Wi-Fi with its Dwarf Lab app which is actively maintained and gets regular updates. One of the latest updates includes Stellar Studio which is a free tool to denoise and process your astro pictures. The internal battery lasts several hours and you can plug in a battery via USB-C for longer sessions. All of this makes the Dwarf 3 one of the most affordable all-in-one smart telescopes available today. So some astrophotographers online have claimed that you can build your own smart telescope and I'm not sure I'm in total agreement with those statements because when you buy like an actual smart telescope like the Dwarf 3 you see behind me, that telescope comes fully assembled and the only thing you need to do as a user is to turn that telescope on and you can start taking images of the night sky. And with this astrophotography rig, I have to build that rig piece by piece. I have to assemble everything together before I can actually start imaging the night sky and using it as a so-called smart telescope. Let me show you what I mean. Unlike a smart telescope, you don't just buy a scope and start shooting deep sky photos. You have to build a full setup. For example, this rig consists of my flat field 80mm apochromatic refractor with a focal length of 600mm. On the back I've attached my ASI 2600 MC Pro color camera and if you want to use filters you need to install a filter wheel like the electronic filter wheel I have here or a filter drawer in front of your camera. I also added an electronic focuser so the telescope can autofocus on the target and a rotator that lets me frame the object exactly the way I want to. All of this sits on the ZWO AM5 harmonic drive mount which precisely tracks the sky. To really nail the tracking you need to add a guide scope and a guide camera that constantly monitors stars with 1 or 2 second intervals and send corrections to the mount. Finally, everything is connected to a computer with Astro software. On this rig, I'll use the ASI Air Plus, a small controller from ZWO which enables me to control my whole rig wirelessly through an app on my phone or tablet. All these separate pieces need to be put together to turn a telescope into a completely autonomous astrophotography rig. All right. So once you assembled everything and you have a place to store your astrophotography rig, 
you can put it on your balcony or your rooftop and start imaging the night sky. You have your very own grab and go astrophotography rig, but it weighs about 10 kilos. So I call this one my grab and grown astrophotography rig. So the Dwarf 3 is more comfortable, as you can see. I can just walk around with it, it doesn't matter so much. I can put it anywhere I want and start imaging the night sky. But will the quality be the same as that expensive rig? Let's wait and see. All right, folks, we still have some clouds, so hopefully things will clear up tonight to do some astrophotography. And, oh yeah, one more thing. As an astrophotographer, I stay up late at night to monitor my telescope and to watch my astrophotography photos. And I used to spend a lot of that time just doom scrolling on social media. And let's be honest, that's not exactly the best way to train your knowledge. Until I found the sponsor of today's video, Brilliant. Brilliant is a unique app that helps you become a better thinker and problem solver with thousands of visual interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. So instead of doom scrolling on social media while awaiting my astrophotography photos, I now open up Brilliant to train my brain. Brilliant helps to build your critical thinking skills through problem solving. So while you're building real knowledge on specific topics, you'll also become a better thinker. The Brilliant Apps makes it easy to learn anywhere with fun, hands-on lessons. Whether you're diving into a new topic or doing a quick practice session, you can level up at home or on the go. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash astroforum, scan the QR code on screen or click on the link in the description below. Brilliant's also giving my viewers 20% off an annual premium subscription, which gives you unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Right, folks, so we have a half moon out in the evening sky. Hopefully this moon will not be too bright to still capture broadband objects like the Andromeda Galaxy and the Pleiades. And hopefully these clouds will dissipate later on in the evening. So anyway, let's get the show on the road. Oh, first three minute picture, check this out. <laughs> Look at that.
Whoa! All right, here we go. Right, folks, I just finished processing my astrophotography pictures, so let me show you the individual unprocessed photos as well as the stacked and processed final astro pictures I was able to take of the objects in the autumn sky. And just remember, the affordable Dwarf 3 takes unguided 60 second photos, whereas the expensive astrophotography rig takes guided 3 to 5 minute photos of the night sky. And I think you will notice the difference. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> 